गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू एन जी वर्तक इंग्लिश मीडियम हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज डिजिटल क्लासरूम टूडे वी विल बिगिन विथ वन ऑफ द ग्रामर टॉपिक विच इज वेरी इजी एज वी हैव एड बिन लर्निंग इट सिंस आर फर्स्ट स्टैंडर्ड and in a most developed way in our 8th and 9th standard so we will be having a quick revision with some of the exercises which are asked in your exam uh the topic for standard 10th subject english grammar and today's topic is tenses students as we know different rules we don't just have these three simple tenses that is past present and future but in detail we are going to learn more about them nine of them such as simple present simple past simple future then continuous past continuous present continuous future present past perfect past present perfect future then we will be learning more three that are perfect continuous forms that we will be learning in detail let's begin with the tenses rules are very important to be known in our previous year students we have already done the rules let's have a quick revision of this rules we have three tenses in all present past and future in this first we will see the simple form simple form means first form that is whatever it can be i we she the name of the person that is the first form plus the verb in this we are going to use as we will see here this s or es in present tense what we do for the verb we change it to the plural form how the sent word is like right comes to right like comes to like glass comes to glasses that is es similarly in simple form past tense the second form like walked or kept break ka kya hota hai broke so that is a past form of the word in future you will apply will or shall to first form got it it is that way the first form that is your verb i writes here will come i wrote here it will come will write or shall write i hope you have understood first form means the verb you will apply s or es to present for past you will apply second form that is the past tense of that verb you need to understand what is the past tense and past participle they both are different and they both are going to, we are going to use them in this tenses similarly in future we will be using will or shall and then the first form of verb that is we are taking the example write so i writes in first form i writes second i wrote in third future i will write got it the next one is progressive form progressive means the continuous form now you you will see here we will take the example as write only here whatever i am writing write plus ing you will apply ing whenever there is a progressive form your verb will be 
put with ing this is your present participle i repeat whenever ing is used for any of the verb it is a present participle and always for continuous ing is used for the verb similarly for past i was we were writing for future i will be writing or we will be writing that is ing form for progressive progressive or continuous form we can say next is perfect form now here you are going to use third form of word third form means the past participle how you will write in present i have written we have written or she has written why now have and has when you are going to use that you need to understand write note somewhere in your notebook or in your textbook wherever you are jotting down the points whenever he she it or name of the person is there you are going to use has i repeat whenever you write down whenever there is a subject which is he she or it or name of the person you are going to use has otherwise you are going to use have with the third form third form that is the past participle of your verb now if you don't know what is the difference between the pa present participle past participle and past tense you need to go on net and find out there is n number of list of words which will give you the example and will help you to understand the difference between present participle past participle and past tense already in our school we have done we are doing it right from 7th standard or 6th standard but if you have forgotten this you can go on net and find out the words because they are going to help you in getting the marks because present participle question is asked in first qu question number 1a grammar form or the past tense or the past participles are asked in first any two you write down any two you write down the present participle or past participle you need to understand them second is past tense past perfect form i had written in future will come i will have written so perfect form always keep in mind your verb will be in past participle in continuous your verb will be always in present participle that is ing only this minute changes there rest all will remain the same next is our perfect progressive form now in perfect progressive you will see progressive means your verb will have ing that is clear now when it is clear to you that progressive wherever progressive is asked ing is applicable so you are going to use ing in perfect we have seen the same form if you see here perfect have has is there in perfect have has is there yes progressive here ing is there here also ing is there now when these two of them come together perfect and progressive when they come together you are supposed to use been b double e n been so every all the tenses you are going to use been from perfect we will take have and has for present tense for present tense have and ha or has plus been plus verb plus ing because it is progressive got it for past tense you will be using had been plus verb plus ing for future you will be using will have been plus verb plus ing so got it all these rules if you don't have please write down somewhere in your notebook 
as we will be proceeding further with the exercise these rules are going to be very very helpful to you so let's go to the next slide where we will see some of the examples here what important thing is here we are going to see all three tenses with the example that is affirmative that is a positive sentence the negative sentence and interrogative sentence and how we are going to transform that them using one simple example first is indefinite that is a simple present tense he writes we have taken this example he writes if you remember the first previous slide i or es he does not write negative not is there he does not write now why we used he does for he there is also one rule he she it you will use does if there is singular now we will just talk about if there is a singular form he does she does i i do then they do we do like when it is a singular form use does when there is a plural form use do now the same thing is applicable here interrogative use your modal auxiliary does does he write for past tense the form is he wrote he did not write why here now you will ask me ki teacher in affirmative we should use the past form now students this is very important in one sentence you can't use two past tense in negative already we have used he did so once you have used he did so the next form of verb will not at all change it will remain the simple form that is right similarly in interrogative also the one we have used did as in past tense so you can't use it again so did he write in future what is our uh, syntax will so he will write he will not write and will he write let's go further with continuous form in affirmative he you just see this first example we are going to change this first example only he is writing he is not writing is he writing you are going to use a helping verb is is he writing always keep in mind this form interrogative change to interrogative if you are having the modal auxiliary directly use that modal auxiliary to form the interrogative sentence that is a question form but if they have asked you wh question you need to change with the wh question that is what when we uh, which how you are going to use that but if they have just ask you to change into a interrogative use the modal auxiliary and change into a interrogative sentence okay the next is negative form he was not writing now again here if you see was is the modal auxiliary here was he writing next is future affirmative he will be writing he will not be writing and will he be writing next is our perfect tense now perfect tense syntax is what has or have plus third form third form that is the past participle so in affirmative he has written in negative he has not written in interrogative has he written you're going to use this has only for your interrogative 
Now here in affirmative past he had written he had not written and had he written In future he will have written he will not have written and will he have written Next is perfect continuous. He has been writing for 2 hours. He has not been writing for 2 hours and has he been writing for 2 hours? You need to check this syntax has been has has had will have In future you will not use had or has it will always remain irrespective of the first person or second person or the third person will have he ko bhi have aayega i ko bhi have aayega you don't have to change it if it is a third person he will have been writing for 2 hours will he will not have been writing for 2 hours and will he have been writing for 2 hours so if you see these examples you will come across the syntax what we have done in the previous slide and the second slide what is just have a glance at it and understand it then we will proceed further with the ex exercise write down the syntax somewhere and then you can transform the sentence and see whether you can do it or not Okay let's go further before we proceed further with our exercise the first exercise what we are going to see is the identify the tense first we will identify the verb and then we will identify the tense for that your rules should be on your book the rules what we have done the previous slide if you have not jotted down you can go back in the video first jot down the rules and then proceed further with the exercise So let's go further with the exercise. Identify the tense. First one. She is teaching her students. Now first we need to identify the tense. First five I will help you out then you will we will check the answer. Is teaching. So it is teaching is continuous form present continuous form understood in your exam you are supposed to write down the sentence she is te teaching her students then below that you will write is teaching is your verb and it is present continuous tense what is the syntax is teaching you will first underline you will search the in your rules is plus uh first form plus ing so this is what next we have been waiting for them now here you can see have been waiting 
have been waiting have been been means perfect ha, uh, have a perfect continuous yes or no perfect continuous that is present perfect continuous let's check is present perfect continuous next next is what he eats with his left hand he eats so this becomes your simple present yes or no eats next we have learnt our lessons have learnt we'll see here we have learnt our lessons have learned have means perfect tense so this is your present perfect tense next is he has had his breakfast has had so has had his breakfast again this is also perfect tense present perfect tense has had has is present had is the third form has ka had ho gaya hai aur have ka had ho gaya so this is the third form of verb next the chief guest addressed the gathering addressed the gathering addressed ed so this is your simple past tense they had been walking had been walking had is the past been means both are present uh, sorry uh, perfect and continuous both are together when they are together you will use been had means past perfect continuous yes or no this is your past perfect continuous next is they will have learned their lesson will means future have learned perfect yes means future perfect tense next they will be having fun will be having fun continuous future continuous yes next we are waiting for them are waiting present continuous next come on try this then i'll give you the answer i didn't sleep sleep well i didn't sleep well didn't means past tense sleep well simple past is it right next she works at a factory very easy ha huh? she works works 
so simple present next he had sought the permission of his book had sought perfect past perfect next had been running had means past perfect continuous next we are learning our lessons we are learning our lessons are learning continuous transformation of the tenses we need to transform first one i will be writing my exam this time tomorrow change into past continuous tense now there are certain rules or the steps we can say syntax to hame aane hi hai aane hi chahiye so past continuous past means was or were plus continuous you are going to use ing so will be is what future so i was writing will come i was writing my exam this time yesterday now here tomorrow will become yesterday because it is past time you can't write down past tense i will be writing my exam so you will write i was writing my exam this time tomorrow you can't write that way when it is past have used your common sense and use that tomorrow ka yesterday karo otherwise you will write tomorrow only in the exam the complete year even if your syntax is right they will give you wrong a 10th standard child should understand the formation of the sentence and the meaning of the sentence so tenses is that only next he will be waiting for us present continuous is waiting for us got next i know this change into simple past i knew this he will have thought about this present perfect tense he has thought about this he wanted to know more about the job simple friends present he wants to know more about the job got it i am leaving for england tomorrow future continuous i will be leaving about that change into simple past she had in simple past she she hadn't thought about that she didn't think about that next eight one he will not accept this proposal simple past did not will come accept this proposal next he will not pass the test future perfect he will not have passed the test next 
I always wanted to be a scientist. Present perfect. I have always wanted to be a scientist. She will not tolerate this injustice. She would will come or did not will come. She did not tolerate that injustice. She did not want to go simple present. She does not want to Now here, why does? Because singular form is there. She. She does not. We, if it was there, we did not want to go. So what will come? We do not want to go. What it? We. They did not want to go. It, it will come. They do not want to go. When it is plural form here, the subject, you will use do. If it is singular form here, you will use does. Got it? I hope you have understood a quick uh, revision of tenses. Please go through all the, just by heart your rules. Automatically, transformation, identification, everything will, be, will become very easy for you students. Take it seriously. And some homework I'm giving you today of your workbook. We will have this uh, revision, revision uh, sessions uh, henceforth. 1.2 page number 12 of your workbook. You can write down somewhere or you can open your workbook. Uh, the read uh, Question number 1. Read the following incident. And uh, question number 1 page number 13 you need to complete 14 you need to complete 15 basically 1.2 the thief story you are going to complete and we are going to discuss this in next period I will not discuss the entire thing the grammar part I am going to discuss with you and you need to check see students as you are not meeting we are not meeting physically in the class don't cheat yourself because you are your own teacher you need to form you need to we can say mold your career as we are not with you at um, physically so please whatever we teachers are telling you to do do it sincerely don't cheat yourself it will not at all help you in your future so all the best complete your 1.2 the thief story the next period i'll be discussing the question answers of thief story thank you